So what workflows are successful using cloud services today then, Stefan? Um, yeah, we most of our customers are doing, on the one hand, media supply chain workflows, as, as we call them, like they get content in, they do a bit of preparation or just transcoding, patching, packaging it, and then pushing it out again, which, which is quite simple. There is no live production in it. There is no real post-production in it. it. It's in and out. And that's what we see for, for quite a while. And other customers are using it for, for archive purposes that yeah, they, for whatever reason, want to store content in the cloud. And, and that's where we also share a lot of customers, I think, where, and that's why we are also here today. And nowadays we also seeing customers who are very selective on which workflows they want to push into the cloud. Maybe it's review and approval where it's mainly about having one point of access for, for everyone. And, and that's pretty much it. Everything else stays, stays on premise, while others really trying to have everything in the cloud. We, we have just won a huge tender where, where big sports broadcaster will go cloud only with most of their production. There are, of course, limits when, when it comes to live and studio production, but um th this will be really they they do everything which is possible today and and that's great to see and yeah we can hopefully share who is this and what's happening there within the next weeks well yeah okay. a, a congratulations on that uh, well deserved uh, and and b i think um you know ultimately what has been used for heavily the last couple of years is collaboration uh, whether that's review and approval, people accessing content. Um, certainly, if you look at the economics of archive, if you want to fire and forget your content, then public cloud makes a lot of sense. You hope you never have to touch it and it's a very, very cheap platform. If you've got a workflow, sports, news, uh, advertising, where you need frequent access to your archive, it makes less sense to only have that in public cloud. And that's where I think um, multi-cloud environments are coming into play. Um, I certainly read a, a report today, I think it was the, from um, the IBC, talking about how people are looking at multi-cloud, not just because of the redundancy issues of a, a public cloud provider being offline, but also to suit the workflows. And I think that if you've got the requirement for frequent access to your archive, you need a platform that gives you instant access to everything with no egress fees. And if you need a safety backup then absolutely you know the very low cost very cold tiers of storage in public cloud make a huge amount of sense so i think that people are um, becoming slightly more aware and educated as to what platform is best you know one one shoe doesn't fit all in many circumstances um, and i think that in this case people are looking to see okay well if i have my active archive in Matrix Store Cloud, for instance, just to pick one out of the, out of the many. <laughs> um, um, but I put a safety copy in AWS Deep Glacier, then, you know, that's a, a good strategic thing to do because you're not relying on one entity being up 100% of the time. And we're certainly seeing more organizations who've been affected by outages by the big three, um, looking at how they can spread the risk of um, not being able to access their content if they are 100% cloud. So are you aware of any organizations truly adopting a multi-cloud approach at the moment, Nick? Um, yes, there are. Um, I think it tends to be the bigger, the bigger entities. Um, certainly, um, when you look at uh, sports associations in the US, um, when you look at large broadcast, if they tend to either have big corporate deals with at least one of the, the big three, whether that's uh, uh, Microsoft, uh, Amazon or Google, um, and typically they will deploy a multi-region approach with one of those because they can afford to pay for two copies across two regions and, and all of the, the costs that, that incurs. Um, so there are companies who are starting to look at that, who have had those outages. We um, ourselves have uh, a customer in uh, the ATP who use 
Matrix Store Cloud for their archive. ATP Media, sorry, use a Matrix Store Cloud for their archive. And uh, they also use um, a public cloud provider for their deep, deep archive and sort of insurance copy. So it makes a huge amount of sense to um, use the right platform for the requirements on the content uh, and to ensure that your company can uh, have access to that data, even if one service isn't available momentarily. Thank you.